Okay, this is the voiceover because the sound when I did this didn't work. So this is a voiceover about my tutorial and my drawing strategies for art. Um, I'm going to try to talk over it as I'm going. And if I, you know, don't have anything else to say, then I won't. This is a new document. I'm clicking on new right now. And I'm picking width 8 and height 6. The reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to rotate it with R, the button R to um, the letter R to uh, rotate it and make it long way from wide to long. And then I'm going to um, fill the screen and then, no, I'm, I'm going to fill the screen with this, these, um, with 8 and 6. And then I'm going to rotate it so I can um, get a longer view of my picture. Now I use 16 bit for color, for color mode and I use white for the color. I'm eventually going to change it to another color but I'm going to show you what it looks like white because I don't like the way it turned out. Okay here it is. 8 by 6 and then I'm gonna fill the screen I'm gonna click Z, Z for zoom then fill screen then R for rotate and then rotate the screen long ways and see that see how I got it nice and long so I can draw a picture of a person this is a Ryu picture from the you know game Street Fighter um, I like the way it came out you might not that's fine but this is just showing you how I draw you know I might not be the best but I'm, I do what I can and I'm trying to get better every day so I'm measuring it up I'm a relational artist, so I do what I call a relational artist, and I draw things related to other things, like the chin, to the nose, to the eyes, to the, to the shoulders, to the rib cage, to the thighs, to the knees. I do it like that. So that's that's how I do it. And uh, you'll get you'll see what I'm saying when I start. I'm gonna start off with the head and. And I made a mistake with the head. I made the head too small on this picture. And eventually I corrected that problem. I use, this is my tool preset that I'm showing you right now. Um, my airbrush, hard round, and uh, sponge. Those are the three tools that I use the most. I opened up a new layer. Because uh, I want to keep the background so I can change the color which it won't work because I like to lighten my background so I'm gonna have to change that anyway I like to draw with a dark blue but you know that's not really written in stone I can draw with other colors as well okay so I'm starting off with my picture drawing the head from what I see. I'm drawing from looking at something, not from imagination or memory. And like I said uh, earlier, I didn't say it to you guys, but um, I said it before. Um, if you want to draw a picture and then you want to lighten it just go to the opacity and lighten the picture and then trace over and make it better that's one way you can do it so you can draw the picture the best way you know how and then lighten it and then trace over it and make it better my goal is to make this look like real it might not look like him to you, but I was pretty satisfied when this picture was finished. I mean, it looked like him enough to me. 
and like I said, I'm a relational artist. I draw what's close to the other, what, what relates to the other thing. So I just kind of, it's kind of like tracing from a visual, and like I visualize the picture, and then I put the lines where I think they should go, and it works out for me in that way. In my mind, it does. In your mind, it might not. I would like to be a kind of artist that drew shapes first, you know, but that's not me. I'm not quite there yet. Sometimes I try to draw that way, and uh, it doesn't really work for me all the time. Sometimes it does. It depends on what kind of mood I'm in. But I really like drawing this way, relating one line to another. It works for me. I'm pretty sure from imagination it might not work as well, but sometimes I think it does. And see how I have it long ways, so it looks like I'm finished with this picture. That's where I would normally stop the picture. But because I have this um, long piece of paper on digital, I'm going to be able to scroll down. and finish the picture. This is where I would normally stop, but because of the way I have it long ways, I'm able to keep going. This is kind of a long tutorial not long long like 20 minutes maybe 15 you know so if you want to see uh, more pictures like this or inspirational thoughts that I might have ideas that I have about things the classes that I take to learn to draw some some of the classes are from YouTube some of them are from uh, classes on the internet craftsies.com Udemy and that's all on my website, LeroyHarrisTheThird.com. That's L-E-R-O-Y-H-A-R-R-I-S-I-I-I.com. That's it. I'm, see, I'm erasing the head because I made it too small. So I'm redoing it. And I'm still able to make it look kind of the way it did, but just bigger. Because I'm looking at the picture. And I'm drawing the lines that the picture shows me. So I didn't really lose anything. I'm relating the nose to the cheek right now. So that's how I put where the eye where the nose goes because I'm relating it to the cheek. The eyes to the nose. And the lips to the nose. And the chin. I might not have much to say during this and I might have a lot so I don't really know because I already had a lot to say when I was doing it but the the volume wasn't turned on the microphone or for some reason I don't know what was going on in some ways you gotta look at the relationships of the lines to the other lines and then hope and know that eventually you'll have your picture look the way you want it to but sometimes you have to erase but when I do this relational drawing I don't usually have to erase most of the time so that's where I'm looking the pictures looking I'm just drawing the line the shoulder wasn't showing on the picture that I'm copying but I just thought that uh, it needed to be there for the picture that I was drawing because it looked okay you know you can add stuff to the picture that's why it's your picture you drew it put what you want on it here I'm gonna you know 
attempt to draw a little bit more of the picture that but this isn't the part this is the part that's on the actual picture but I'm not really trying to draw extra stuff because sometimes it's hard for me to do that I'm not quite there where I can draw from imagination the way I would like to so I just draw things that I see or make up things based on the picture that I see I can add things to the picture that I draw based on my imagination but you know I'm not really good at I can draw from my imagination sometimes, but I'm not as good as I as good as I want to be. This is where I attempted to draw from imagination, but I'm going to erase it. I didn't like the way it came out. And then I cropped the page, cropped the page to the place where it was on the picture. Sometimes I get a good picture when I do it from imagination, but then this time I didn't like it, so I just went to what I saw. I'm cropping the page going to that square maker I don't know what it's called technically and then I go to crop after uh, under image and then I crop it again because I want to make it look exactly like the picture so that's why I'm looking at it and I'm noticing that there's more space than there I want and I'm gonna crop it again okay so now I'm opening up another layer because I'm going to start doing the shadows no I'm showing you that you can lighten the picture if you want to retrace it but I'm not going to do that because I'm content with my picture and then I'm making my new layer so I can do my shading I'm drawing in the shading picking B for brush my favorite shortcuts are B for brush E for eraser R for rotate and Z for zoom those are my most important shortcut keys E for eraser R for rotate Z for zoom and B for brush or pencil but B for brush okay I'm gonna start putting in my shadows I pick pencil airbrush just in case I'm not using that right now drawing in the shadows
This is just to show you how I draw. I'm not going to perfect it, but I, th I think I did a pretty good job. I think I did. I just drew the shadows where they were. I used the pencil airbrush hard on three for my drawing. And pencil tool, tool, pencil tool hard round for coloring. And sponge for background sometimes. But sometimes I just use the hard round. Yep, shading in the hair, shading in the headband, making the muscles shadow, all that shadow, 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 more and more shadow, not too much shadow, just enough shadow, oh yeah. Now I'm making the lines that I see on the picture for the shadows. Making the creases and all that stuff. Muscles. Yeah, man. I'm liking it. Some artists say they can't talk when they draw. I don't have a problem with it. I'm not doing it now because I'm just looking at the screen. But like I said earlier, when you didn't hear, um, you know, they be talking while they're drawing, so I'm not sure if they just don't know it or whatever. So I don't know how that works. But I don't seem to have a problem doing it, and I'm grateful because I need to talk when I'm drawing. I don't want to just be secluded to just drawing and not talking. I'm thinking it's starting to look a lot like Rhea. You might not think so, but I do. And I'm happy with it. It looks like Street Fighter to me. I changed the color on this, but I kind of regret it now. And I'm going to show you at the end what it looks like without the color on it. Because I'm going to add to the video. There's the red. I should have kept it like that. Couldn't lighten it, so I had to make the background white. I had to add a new layer and make that white and put it behind it. slide it down under it just want you to know what I'm doing and once you see that thing turn white I had to flip the colors in the corner from red to white so I could make the paint bucket white and then flip it back to red and then lighten it which I don't agree with I could have left it red and left it at that and that would have been the end of it but I wanted to show you how I color. Now I opened up a new layer so I can color the shirt 
burgundy this takes a while so I might not be able to go through all this I might edit it I don't think I will though but I might just so you can get to the meat of it you get the point layer multiply so you can see the lines go to multiply and then start coloring so you can see the lines like I said I use a pencil tool hard round because it's more solid I like to uh, use the opacity on the right side of the screen instead of the top because when you take the brush off and you put it back on it doesn't show the layers it just looks smooth like you never left took it off at all it looks smooth so I enjoy that that's the wrong color that's why I took it off Yes, uh, I'm coloring. I'm pretty sure I can fast forward this because you get the point, right? I'm using colors. So I'm going to fast forward this. Okay, I'm doing all the colors. I like that. Okay, I'm doing the wristband. Right, right, right. The gloves. You see where I'm going with this. I'm doing the other glove. And then I'm going to show you the whole picture and call it a day. But after, like I said, at the end, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Oh, color the headband. And at the end, I'm going to show you uh, how it looked white because I don't like the way it looks pink looks okay I guess but I don't like it maybe you like it I don't so gonna click Z for zoom and fit to screen fit to screen there's the whole picture and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like white and burgundy and that's all just let it roll Yeah, man. See if I did anything else, because I don't think I did. <coughs> yeah, it's um, Leroy again. I'm just showing you the picture looked in red, dark red, which is what I wanted it to look like, or white. That's white, and I like that too, but I did not like pink, so that's the way it looks, and uh, that's all. I just wanted to show you that and this is it without any color 
and the red and that's with the color okay so you see all the different variations that's about the shadow interesting right yeah that's without the shadow that's without any lines that's with just the shadow and that's the whole picture okay that's all I wanted to show you all right take care have a good one remember my website is Leroy Harris the third that's with three eyes dot com L E R O Y H A R R I S I I I dot com if you want to check it out just see how it goes you can go to my Facebook also from there my God's timing Facebook is on the website so you can you know check out my inspirational documents my drawings it's all on my website web page so check it out all right then thank you